Hey, what's up, everybody? It is me. Who I am? No, but um, hello, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Atari. I am a junior. Well, um, it's spelled kind of differently, um, but yeah, I, it's better that I be called Atari like the video game but I don't really like to po point to that type of thing I usually just say that it means um little lights you know like big lights and then little lights you know Jesus is the big light and I'm the little light um but yeah uh yeah testimony time uh so and so I live in Virginia and I went to North Carolina to attend an event um, from Daniel Adams, hosted by Daniel Adams, and and uh, it's it's a uh, revival service. So I so I attended this revival service, and it's been a long journey for me. Just that one day was just an amazing day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I liked. Going to that place, man, it's just like very refreshing to get away, just to um, see God, leave my family and see God for for Jesus' name's sake. I went there and I experienced I, I experienced the the greatness of God. It was awesome. God moving, man, like moving powerfully and, and the service the revival service was was good like um it was outside it was it was uh they pitched a tent a large tent where um people were bringing folded chairs and uh it was it was packed i i didn't realize it was gonna be that packed but it, it was packed um and the the worship service was was so good man i was just dancing for the lord like it was just making up music and making up new songs for the Lord and stuff, and I was just gone with it. Like other people was like, mm -mm. just looking around and and um, just not. I don't think they was feeling the music, but I was like, I was feeling, I was feeling the Holy Spirit, man. It was thick, man. The atmosphere was thick and the and the anointing, yo. I was like, Lord, I praise you, Lord. The glory, said so, so no, But um, yeah, it was like that. But I don't know why anybody else wasn't uh, getting up like me. But uh, the forerunners were looking at me. They was like, "This boy getting it," and because <laughs> I just love to uh, sing for the Lord and stuff. But I ain't usually like to sing that that much. But when I get, you know, when I get in the middle of a con congregation and I'll be with the church, like I be get, I just stand up for God. It, I don't know. It's just something in me. Um, I believe it's like the Holy Spirit, the, um, the Spirit of God just, you know, lift me up and just, I just start dancing for the Lord and just start singing. And, yeah, the worship service was beautiful. Uh, so, next was the, the preaching, like, I, I, I kind of understood why they was doing the worship service, because usually worship uh, builds up the spirit so so you, you you go into the flow with the spirit and you move on to the next thing so the next thing was um, teaching and and preaching so uh, they did that and Daniel Adams did he did the preaching he was teaching on um, how a demon would, would uh, when you get cleaned up when you get your house clean the demon the demon leaves and then uh, it searches for uh, a place to rest it was put searches through dry places and all this stuff um, just to find rest, but then it, it it wonders um if you know maybe I should go back home and and see if that person is uh back back where it shouldn't be you know um where we we can get in you know and the, and he the and the um, the spirit the unclean spirit brings more more spirits worse than itself like seven other other spirits worse than itself and then comes back and see that person uh doing what he shouldn't be doing uh back in his old habits. Oh yeah, we gonna get in. That's basically what they they doing. He um Daniel Adams was like, um you gotta prepare your hearts. Prepare your hearts before before you come to me because 
um, if you don't prepare your heart, if the Holy Spirit can't move uh, um, by that, he, the Holy Spirit can't work by that, you know, it, it'll be harder or, or, or he would just won't work at all if you, 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 your heart's not repentant and stuff like, you know, so, so everybody started renouncing. He was like, renounce, started renouncing some things. I'm giving you a minute to renounce. And so everybody started renouncing. I had a whole list of things. I had a whole list. It's like almost, I think I had like a hundred some on my on my list, on my renounce list. I was like, renounce this, 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 this. And stuff that, didn't, that I ain't even um, experienced yet. I was like, I was like this, 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 this. Okay, oh, we're going to make sure we got everything cleared up. <laughs> because, because I didn't go to I didn't go to North Carolina for nothing. Like I took a bus there. I didn't even like I ain't have a I ain't have a car, man. I ain't, I ain't have like I took a bus and a taxi. So so yeah, the Lord he he's still working on my life or um my financial life. But other than that, yeah, it was it was a great time. So um. I, I was I was pushing up when it while uh, Danny Adams was having a service uh, he was starting he was starting on uh, healings and, and all that moving in the Holy Spirit so I was trying to um, I was moving up through the crowd through through the congregation I was like man I need my healing um, look I was like telling people like man I need my healing like I'm ready I uh, and it was like go up go up so they pushed me up so. Um, as as Daniel Adams was moving, laying hands on people, people was just getting healed, uh, and people were just just uh, screaming, you know, demons getting casted out. They was being they was getting free, and and then finally Daniel uh, he, he laid hands on me, and he said that I have an anointing on my life, and and I just realized man, and I just fell out, and I just realized that oh man, that's the the Holy Ghost man, the Holy Ghost, I was like Jesus. Jesus, like, I was just wondering and stuff, like, I must be delivered already, because, you know, maybe, maybe I, maybe it doesn't matter if I don't manifest like anybody, anybody else, but, um, uh, I believe that I, I was already, uh, delivered, but that, that's another story to tell, um, because that, that's a whole story in itself, um, but other, other than that, I went to, uh, um, a forerunner to get healed, I, cause because I was about to go back to Daniel Adams and get an impartation and and and, and go for more stuff, but I was like, nah, um, God put it on my heart that uh, you gotta go to somebody else. Like God, I, I am not a respecter of persons. That's what God was basically telling me um, um, through His Word, and it just hit my spirit. I am not a respecter of persons. Just go to another forerunner and ask for healing through them, and it's it's like I I work through. Uh, a form runner, just as much as I work through Daniel Adams, like, like j just as long as you obey, I, you know, I can work the same way. It don't matter. It don't matter who. I can work through the poor man, work through the rich man. I, I can work through the uh, person who's in power, or work through the person who's not in power. So that's big. So I just went to a form runner. I just put my trust in God. I was like, I'm going to find a form runner. Finally, I found a form runner, and I asked him um, to pray for certain things. You know, um, some addictions that I, I um, fell back on, and also like uh um video game addictions um yeah thing and and uh, the biggest one th this is this was this is mainly the the testimony of 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 that time um is the 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 i got healed i got healed of my asthma i got healed of my asthma like it was it's amazing yo like lord thank you lord 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 god I'm gonna tell you this, okay? Like, so, so I went to this forerunner and I, um, I asked him, like, can he heal me of my asthma? And and he was like, okay, how you, how do you know that you have asthma? And I told him that, um, when I breathe, you know, I can, I can, I can't breathe as much as you know as I should. And also when I run long distances, um, I don't even run long distances. I, I just run short distances and I lose breath just by that. Like, like, um, I just, I'd be panting. And stuff. So he was like, "Okay." So he went and prayed for me, and um, then he said, "Okay, uh, start breathing." And I said, "And I start. I just start breathing." He said, "Okay. How, how do you know that you you don't have the asthma anymore? How how do you know that you've been cured of the asthma?" And I told him that I can breathe. I can breathe more deeply. 
I was thinking, I was, uh, I was like, I can breathe more deeply. And then he was like, no. He was like, go, go run to, to that car over in that parking lot and then, and then run back. And then I did that. So I ran to that. I went to the car that he told me to run to and then I ran back and I I didn't even lose any breath. Man Uh I didn't lose breath. Yo man That's amazing man. Like I had a lot of struggles, you know, trying to run um without losing breath, man. Like I be, I be, and I be losing conscience too. Like, like back then, like before, when I used to run, like from work, from no, from home to work, and work from home, work to home, and I just just be losing breath. Um, but uh, yeah, and and I was just amazed. But but then I I began to have fatigue. So he he uh prayed over me. For, to get the, the uh, fatigue removed and um, also the vertigo. I told him I, I'd be having vertigo that'd be uh, put me off balance whenever you know I smash my my finger like this, smash my finger against a, com a compactor and stuff at work. So, so yeah, and I had vertigo after that. So so he he prayed he prayed for that and and we was good. I was good and I was giving God glory and. We we got to know each other, and he gave me his card, and um, I want to see if I wanted to join in, get hooked up on to, uh, with the forerunners under Daniel Adams. So I was just interested, and and I should I should call him, but uh yeah, um, I went to go find another forerunner. I was like, I don't feel like I'm done yet. I feel like there's still more that that I gotta get. Like you know, I feel like I wasn't I wasn't done. Like I felt unfinished. So I went to another I went to another forerunner, and. I went to a forerunner. Um, no, first I was like, okay. I told that forerunner. Um, I said, I'm going to go to back to Daniel Adams and see if I can get more impartation. He said, all right, go ahead. And I, was, I went to, I went up to Daniel Adams, but he was already working on somebody. He was already working on, he was working on this girl. Like she was, you know, um, she she wanted freedom. She wanted del deliverance, and um, she couldn't really. Uh, she. She had she had trouble getting delivered because you know she 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 uh, had more more sins or something like like she she didn't renounce it completely everything so um, Daniel Adams wanted her to uh, whisper in his hair, ear if it was like a secret thing that that she couldn't really tell anybody so um, yeah and Daniel Daniel Adams was like uh, okay um, did you did your mom know that I mean, she, she was like yeah um, but. Uh, Long story short, about that, like she got delivered, like she got freed. Um, then I went to a, another forerunner, uh, all the way on on the other side where Daniel Adams was working, um, because he he said that everybody that uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to need any, everybody who need deliverance, you come to me and and then, um, you know, for everybody else, every other forerunner they can do all other stuff. And so I went to another forerunner and and um, I talked to him and the crazy thing was with him and. and was that everything that he struggled through I like I was struggling through the same thing like we, we it was a commonality God God gave it as a, a divine intervention right there like like we both fell in like the same type of sin and then he, he began praying for me and um I, I fell out I fell out and not only once he prayed for me again fell out twice not only twice three times not only three times, four times, like it's it started getting crazier because the first time, I, yeah, it was it was it, it felt good, man. The Holy Spirit was moving in me, and um, like I got up, and then he he gave me more impartation and started you know healing me on in in other areas, um, and and I began I fell out like I fell out. And I began to laugh, like I didn't realize why I was, why I was laughing, but I just started laughing, and and um, um, I realized that you know maybe maybe the the Holy Spirit is really really uh, moving in me and t and you know wanting me to laugh and just feel the goodness of His joy, and then they they later told me that um, the devil had stole my joy. 
So, uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. That that does put a lot of things together, um, you know, because I used to struggle. I used to be depressed after I, after I mess up, you know, I mess up with God and I stumble. So and and I get up all uh, depressed and everything, and and I be running away from people when I'm depressed. I I, I usually just run away from people. Even my friends, I run away from my friends just to, you know, just to be alone. And sometimes I'll be crying. And um, yeah, I was man, it was beautiful. The Lord and I had a great time. Like um, I heard, I was hearing the Lord speak to me, man, clearly, man. And, and um, like He took when I was like done laughing, I was I was getting up, and I told God something. And then he he brought me he just led me out to the uh, the car parking lot at night. This is at night, y'all. Like like we was halfway through the the whole service and it, it was like nighttime. And then I I went out into the parking lot like like and I looked up into the stars. And then suddenly a voice just spoke to me saying that uh this is this is not for sure. This is who I am. So and I was like, okay, I, I, there's no way I, I, I don't think like that, like, like those. T I don't use those type of words. Like, why would I use those type of words? Like, what kind of person am I, am I to say that even to myself? Like, are you bonkers? Like, but um, I just I realized I knew that was Jesus. I I knew that was the Lord um speaking that to me because 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 I, I don't think in that that type of pattern. That sound like that that type of speech sounds like it will come from someone with authority there like there's no way he said he said he said this is not for show this is who I am so so I, I was just I was like so happy I was I was just smiling I was just smiling my butt off and then I went back I went back to the tent and um got more impartation impartation and they put the, uh, they, they, he, the same guy prayed for me, and, um, like, like, out of nowhere, like, he prayed the, 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 the mantle of Elijah over me, and this, this was something that I prayed for days ago. How do you know that? Like, how did you know that I wanted this, 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 uh, this mantle? You don't even know me. I don't know you. Like... So that's how I realized God was really answering my prayers. Like, cause, cause days ago I was like, even before the the event, I was like, Lord, I prayed that I could have the, uh, Lord, may I please have the the mantle. I was deciding. It was like it was crazy because I was deciding, um, what type of mantle um do I want, um, the, the Lord to give me. I was thinking like the mantle, either the mantle of of Daniel. The mantle of Elijah, and I was just, you know, picking. So I was like, I want the mantle of Elijah. And so days went on, and then up to the up to that moment, and, and the, at the event, I was like, How do you know? I, I prayed for this, and he he's just like, There it is. And we just gave God glory. We just gave God glory because he was just answering my prayers, man. That was great, man. I'm like, oh Jesus. Thank you! <laughs>